I was using my uh, old Heathkit air to fuel ratio gauge here. wanted to show you. It takes a little while. That needle's still moving up to the right. I'm sniffing it back here at the exhaust right now. You can see back here, I got it in the exhaust pipe. Yeah, usually it runs it's about in that area and if I give it fuel it moves to the left I think it's settled down about there so let me go uh, I'm going to turn that map enhancer on just got to flip the switch on died a little bit this thing takes a little while to uh, move but uh it's starting to move to the right now. It don't move a lot but it's moving. Now I'll go turn the hydrogen on. I have it set about 12 amps. So we'll go uh, turn it on. Hydrogen is going to be coming on soon. Here we go 2 amps, 3 amps, 4 amps, 5 amps, 6 amps. Seven, eight, ten, eleven, twelve. That's when the needle starts to swing around the eleven to twelve amps, when it starts affecting the engine. So far, it's not having too much of an effect. It's starting to move to the right a little bit. There it goes. So it's going to the lean side, see it? This meter takes a while, but it's still moving to the right. I just wanted to show you that. I'll be playing around with this a little bit more, and this week I'll be doing the testing. So uh, I guess we'll get ready to see what kind of mileage it's going to get. I don't know if you can see the bubbler, but it's making hydrogen down there. So, okay, we'll have a great day, and keep on watching. Bye.